Shooting through walls in FPS games is nothing new. It has been around for as long as they have existed and is often referred to as wall banging. It's more prominent in some games over others. For example, Call of Duty games are notorious for the sheer amount of walls and surfaces that bullets can travel through, while Battlefield is more geared toward destructible environments in order to damage your enemies. Team Fortress 2, however, is unique in that there's no surfaces that are penetrable, at least not intentionally. Over the course of its 15 plus year life cycle, TF2 has seen numerous glitches and exploits allowing players to fire through walls, most of which have since been patched out of the game. But despite these patches, there are still many weapons that can travel through walls and damage or debuff players. In this video, I will cover just that, all of the TF2 items that shoot or reach players through walls. All flamethrowers, except for the Dragon's Fury, emit flame particles that can reach players from underneath walls. The thicker the wall, the harder it is to align yourself such that you can damage your enemies. Furthest I was able to hit enemies through walls was 28 units, which requires pinpoint distance and accuracy. Another way to shoot through walls with a flamethrower is to have a teammate stand up against a wall like this and go inside of them. This allows your flame particles to travel directly through the surface, igniting anybody on the other side. The thickest wall where this is possible is four hammer units, and it requires you to look a certain angle through the glass. Next up on the list is the Rap Assassin. Now with the Rap Assassin, you can't melee people through the wall, but you can throw your bobble and damage them like so. The thickest wall I could shoot the bobble through was at 19 hammer units. Next on the list is the Thermal Thruster. Now the Thermal Thruster doesn't actually deal damage, but you can cause knockback through walls as such. For this, the thickest wall is 132 units. Next on the list is the Kamikaze Taunt. By angling yourself sideways, initiating the taunt, and calling Medic, you cause your taunt to kill the enemy through the wall. Using this method, it is possible to kill enemies up to 100 unit thick walls. Next up on the list is the Gas Passer. Why you would use this, I have no idea. If you're using it, get help. But you can throw it and splash enemies through the wall like so. The thickest wall through which you can splash somebody with the Gas Passer is 47 units. And it is extremely difficult and you have to be very precise. But then again, why would you use the Gas Passer? Another cool way that you can splash people with the gas passer is by standing up against the wall like this, and you can literally throw it right through. Ironically, it can be thrown through a wall of any length. Lastly, we have the guillotine. Now the guillotine is similar to the gas passer, except that you have to look slightly down, and you can throw it right through. And just like the gas passer, you can throw this through an infinite length wall, at least as far as it'll go before it hits the ground. So that's all I have to share with you guys today. Now, there are some things I didn't test, such as the dispensers range through walls, shooting the dragon's fury through spawn gates, since those are technically models and not world geometry, and also the splash radius of the Gerardi and Mad Milk through those gates, uh, and also shooting players behind walls with bullet weapons, which I might cover sometime in the future. Anyway, like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you'd like to see me try to get out of these back rooms I've apparently found myself stuck in. Peace and thanks for watching.